Welcome back guys, the guy is everything fun here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a plaster of Paris mold with plaster of Paris, of, um, some water, something to stir it with, a cup that you can break apart, and a measuring cup to stir it in. So, let's get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill your measuring cup to what, about a third of a cup. Uh, uh, like that. Then you're gonna put just a little bit of water. Then you're just gonna stir it. Like that. That's really watered down, so. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your other cup. You're gonna get some plaster of Paris in it. Just keep adding it until it gets to a uh, smooth consistency, I guess. Mm. Almost there. A little bit more. There we go. I'm just going to stir that a whole bunch. You don't really want air bubbles in it. Okay. There we go. So, then, dump all this the extra plaster here. So that Save it for another project or something. Make sure there's none left in this cup. There you go. Then, I'm gonna put the cup down and pour it for how high you want your mold to be. You can see there. He's all, all of it, and it's um, half an inch deep. So pat it down, make sure it's all flat, and then you're just gonna let it dry. And I will be back. Welcome back, dry. guys. So I got the, the plaster is dry, and I have an exacto knife. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go like that. Oh, I'll try again. Okay. See it crack. And it's gonna okay. So, there we go. Came right out. So, now we're gonna clean it up and turn it into the mold we want. So, I'm just gonna clean out these edges. Side like that. Bottom's fine, it's all fine. So there's not that many air bubbles, as you can see. Looks really nice, I think. And then you're just gonna carve what you want into it, and I'm just gonna carve a square. Okay, so I'm gonna time lapse the rest of this because it's gonna take. Okay, guys, so I'm done carving it, and now what you're gonna do is take a paper towel and a glass of water. You're gonna fold it up so you have a little corner, dip it in. And now you're just gonna like use this as kind of like sandpaper, I guess, and just smooth it out. Like so. Get 
any corner. So that's how it looks right now. And you can also like use your fingernail or something like that to um, get more flat like, or the exacto knife or some other type of knife. Um, so just let me soak. Okay, I'm just gonna go like that. Uh, okie dokie, so, yeah guys, thanks for watching, and bye bye.